this is today we are discussing the complexity issues of all problem classes. Because in the automata class, you probably come to know first there are some problems which is unsolved. So how till now, not that it will answer the in the next 10 years, but still now it is proven these are the unsolved problems. What is the best class of the problems? Like whenever you have to take stack, push and pop, complexity O1. Complexity of one problem is there, there's a lot of problems we can solve by push and pop. Then we have a login, login to the base 2 is a binary search. You can particular items are stored in a binary search tree, you can find it out by login. So this is one, then the end login, then the march sort, then the end square, like your sort and other sorting algorithm like insertion sort, which is very famous. Insertion sort, then comes the end queue. Matrix inverse, matrix inverse, but these problems as a computer science is very easy problem. We call it as a polynomial problem. Whenever the A at the base, whether it A, N square, N cube, these are all polynomial problem. It is easy problem. But whenever you know the tower of Hanoi problem, so we have a three D's, we have to shift to another tower. We have we call a minus one. The, the famous story is there 64 days and one particular team has given order of okay, whatever the size I give the grains. But to the power a 64 days, to the power 64 minus one states is huge number. Huge amount of grain. Right. So this is called the exponential. You cannot reduce it. The R of error, you cannot reduce it. Here, the your algorithms, whatever powerful machine you have, which is a problem? Machine will drop with problems. There is another very class of problem that is called NP complete problems. What is NP complete problem? NP complete problem is if you want to try get the solution in the front end, it is problem of one particular problem is NP this is NP complete problem. What is that? Why I show it this way? This one problem can be mapping to one. That is, if a problem is there, you can reduce it to problem B. If you, if you can solve problem B, you can, you can solve A to A. And that is the correspondence between 1 is to 1. So that is problem reduction. So if these all these problems, still now, if you have given a solution, you can check it in the polynomial time. But it is very difficult to find it by forward direction. And there are around 3,000 problems are there which are empty complete problem. Empty complete problem means it is tougher than Tower of Hanoi. Tower of Hanoi here, but here, if you are given solution, you can check it in the polynomial. But there are other sub problems which can be hard. That means if you are given solution, it will also take time. Find it also get that. These are the rigid buffer problems. And here, even if the given solution, you cannot check it in polynomial. Okay. It might take exponential time. It take exponential time. And sometimes the problem algorithm cannot be found. That is the unsolvable problems. That we already covered with the quantum problem. The quantum problem says you cannot test a program, give it to a cooling machine, and guarantee it will always stop. We might talk, might not talk. Remember, cooling machine works on both cases, on accepted status and also rejected state. If it stops, then it is to be decided on that, which is a much subset of cooling recognizable. What cooling recognizable, it will stop in accepted state, but if you need a complement of the language, the language which is not accepted, then it might accept. Go to the reject state or nail looping. So this what we call this the Turing machine. This call the Turing recognizable language and we can map it with natural numbers. So we are we can number in all Turing machines all over the world giving a name 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. It's a concrete infinite, but there are many other sequences, sigma star which you cannot. 
So coming back to this one, here we can see that our regular language you can map it by polynomial algorithm O n because parsing can be always done by O oh, this is O n because any language if you take O n cube no use this is O n parsing same it is true for this programming oriented this is also O n but generally all context free grammar this is O n cube which is not acceptable for program but if you go for context sensitive grammar it will end the complete problem very difficult to find it so this is end the complete class so that is absolutely no no for programming languages if whenever you need a such compiling job and if it takes enormous amount of time for parsing so that is this kind of language like context sensitive grammar and upon this all are unsolved Parsing is also almost unsolvable. So, so we, this kind of language, to be comprehensible, to be decidable, it is only related whether accepts or reject. We are don't want to make it as a programming language, as a part of programming language. So, this is the complexity issues. I hope you understood. Any question is it? Unambiguous grammar or deterministic context free grammar? Because you can do it through a way and practice. Ideally, O and Q by C Y K algorithm. C Y K, but we do not use it because O and Q is not accepted. But if you go for context sensitive grammar, it is N D complex. N D complex problem comes here. So in parsing is absolutely impossible. That is the reason we are not using this kind of context sensitive language or types, you know, both types in our programming framework. But these are useful problems. So that is not for programming language. That is useful problem. Programming language. This is an regular. We are using the program to formulate the problem in our algorithm so that it can be solved in a problem. And computer is nothing but a Turing machine. And which Turing machine? This kind of Turing machine. Because your proper rules always hold sometimes, sometimes may not work. It go ahead. So that is accepted. So all our computing model is doing the problem as well.